the first problem that we found was poor sizing or people oversizing the equipment in their home as the first mistake. Uh, Butch, what would be another major mistake of the common installation errors with heating and air conditioning systems that you can think of? The next major one is going to be the duct system, the distribution system, how the air gets throughout the house, being properly sized and then in turn matched between the equipment and the house. First of all, you've got to take all the capacity that the equipment has and get it where it needs to go evenly throughout the house. And you'll have rooms that have a higher heat load or a higher demand for cooling than other rooms. Interior rooms don't have, do not have a, uh, exposed exterior walls. They do not take as much air movement as a room that has three exposed walls. So the distribution system, the duct system, is the next priority. That's going to give you what you are paying for, where you need it, when you need it. But it seems to me a contractor would possibly want to save money, right? So let's just imagine he could then say, well, one way we could save money is we can use your old duct system, knowing that they're too small, the, 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 the size of the hole where the air is going through to get to the room is too small, and, and also it might have all these, what, holes in it. Doing replacements, uh, that's, that's one of the big, there's nothing wrong with reusing a, uh, an original duct system if it's adequate. Um, and that stems back to where, when it was originally designed and installed. If it was done properly in the beginning and no changes have been made to the home, then yes, it's probably adequate. But 80% of those originally installed are not adequate. They'll get, um, the most common contractor will come in and, and put in one size run throughout the house. It's low dollar wins in a uh, what we call a spec built home or a production built home. Uh, and you have the same size going to every room with different loads. So you'll have one room that's hot while the other rooms are cold. Or in the winter time one room that's cold and the rest of the house is sweltering it's not matched properly and and, duct and a lot of it just is the duct system the way it's, it's set up the duct systems and the way it's set up um, leakage uh, poorly poorly assembled joints not sealed not masticked um, use of duct tape instead of proper sealers duct is that common is that common where they just use quite duct tape common, quite common uh, tapes per se are just temporary they, they'll seal an opening and hold something together, but the adhesives break down mm -hmm. over a five to ten year period. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when that happens, then you have all this air coming out of there, and then you're wasting all the air. it's coming out where you don't want it. It can be in an attic, in a crawl space, in a wall, uh, between floors, rather than getting where you need it, in the room to actually provide. And they're not going to know that it's happening, because they don't see it, uh, right? You don't see it initially. Um, unless it causes damage. You get a lot of cold air dumping in the wrong place and it can generate mold problems. Uh, it can cause wood floors to dry out excessively. Um, well, I also would think that their, air condi their, their energy costs would, could possibly go through the roof if they have all these holes in there. Definitely, because you're not providing the air where you need it. You're leaking it out everywhere you don't. Yeah. So you're heating the, and cooling an area where it doesn't even, you know, it's not even going where you're living. <laughs> right. According to the Department of Energy, a good 35 to 40 percent of the energy lost through a heating and cooling system is through the duct system and leakage in the duct system. Wow. So that tells a lot about the, the installer. And the quality of the installation. Meaning they used the tape or didn't even bother to tape Poorly the hole. assembled, yeah. Poorly assembled duct system, uh, joints that weren't properly uh, sealed and fabricated when they were put together. Uh, that's that's one of the biggest biggest well, energy. Wastes. I'm almost thinking like when a guy bids a job, the guy's going to bid so he can make money. All right, and it could be, let's say, significantly lower than your bid, right? But you're thinking in terms of detail and making sure everything is done perfect. Or, or what's the difference? I mean, on that. The difference is the difference is 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 dollar. If you want quality, it's going to cost you ten to twenty percent more mm -hmm. than a, than the average. 
and the average is a high volume contractor. He wants to sell that equipment, okay. get it installed, and leave. He's got okay. the money in hand and he's gone. He's not going to live with it afterwards. And generally, they're short lived companies. Okay. Um, or they're just high volume. The mm -hmm. next group that they're selling actually pays for the mistakes that they made that they're going back and, and correcting. But a certified quality installing contractor is going to make sure it's properly sized, mm -hmm. all those joints are tight, and they're going to be there for the next 20 years to take care of it and take care of any issues that you may have.